Hi Stampers! Today I want to show you this card that I got from my friend Gazella. It's absolutely adorable. I love this little bride and groom. So I went ahead and made this card and I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's go ahead and get busy. Okay, so here are the pieces that you're going to need. You're going to need Blushing Bride, Whisper White, and then I use this Whisper White with the Perfect Polka Dots Embossing Folder to get the dots on there. And then you'll need a piece of black. So let's go ahead and punch out all our hearts first. Just going to punch out a black. And then the white with the perfect polka dots. And then white without the polka dots. And then the blushing bride. Okay, so now to make the bow tie on your groom's heart, what you're going to do is you're going to take your black and you're going to make a score line. So you're going to fold your score line. And then you're going to cut a triangle. Now, I'm going to cut a small one, but then I'll cut a, a larger one so you'll see the shape that you're wanting to do. So on the score line, you're going to start with the point going inward. So you're going to cut your triangle starting with the point, and then cut inward, and then cut another side of your triangle, and then inside, you're going to trim that off. So there's your little bow tie. Let me show you here. It's really little so cute. So that's what that looks like. Hopefully that shows up. Okay, so now let me show you a larger one. Now you won't make it this big unless you want to. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut and then cut and then you're going to cut straight across at your triangle inside your fold there. So then this is what it should look like when you're cutting on the score line. Hopefully that's showing up. So then this is the bigger size bow tie. But we're going to use a smaller one. Okay, so now to make your tuxedo part of your groom, you're going to go ahead and cut down the center of your heart. I don't know, about a quarter of an inch, maybe half inch. And then you're going to fold back the cut lines. And then you're just going to make your lapels. Okay, so it should look like that. Hopefully that's showing okay, up. So then you're going to take your Whisper White Heart, the smooth one, and you're just going to go ahead and put some adhesive on that. And then you're going to line this up behind your black one. Just like that. Isn't that cute? And then you'll just go ahead and add some adhesive, just a tiny little bit, and then add your bow tie. Oh my gosh. Love it. Okay, so then for the, the bride, you're going to take the Blushing Bride Heart, add some adhesive, and then you're going to line this one up behind your heart, but you're going to raise it up just a little bit. Just like that. Oh my gosh, I love so it. Then for the bride, I'm going to add some basic rhinestones. I'm going to take the small ones, just put like three of them going down the center of the heart. that lines up good. So there you go. There's the bride and the groom. Okay, so then on my finished card, I went ahead and used the Curly Cute stamp set, and it says congratulations. And what I did for that, let me show you here, I stamped the image, and then I took the square punch, and it doesn't matter the size, and I'm just going to line that up in the center of that corner, and then just punch. And you're going to make like a little banner, just like that. Okay, so that's how I did this card. And then I added some champagne mist with the rubbing alcohol, and I gave it a little shimmer on the card. And then for the border, I used the frame tulips with the embossing folder with the big shot. So that's it. All right, so thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.